This afternoon, the community celebrating the life of Caitlin Markham in 2011. She vanished from her Fairfield Township uh, home and authorities found her remains in 2013. But today was not about the case and the upcoming trial where her then fiance John Carter is facing murder charges. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Warwin shows you how her love of arts live on. In a scene that itself could be art, friends and family of Caitlin Markham decided to make some. There's a community of people who've been brought together by the loss of Caitlin Markham. She was an art student when she was last seen alive in 2011, just days before her 22nd birthday. Two years later, her remains were found in Indiana, but the case went cold until March when her fiance at the time was charged with her murder. The trial is set for June of next year. Some level of justice is gonna happen, even if it's just a trial. And then we have to move forward. Healing is an art. It, it is, it's, it's a turning the page. And art is what Caitlin loved. This is about forwarding her message that you should get together, make some art, and have some fun. And that's what they did in Harbin Park. Chalks, balloons, Jordan Cook, and raffle giveaways. You know what, I tried to get stuff that I thought Kate was like. The proceeds here will go to domestic violence. But ultimately, we like to support young artists like Caitlin. In her memory, we can help other people create art, and I think she would appreciate that. Her father, Dave, agrees. Her first teacher was here, and he uh, was saying that she just just blossomed, and he calls her a maverick in the art world. And, you know, any media, pencils, oils, paints, you know, she was into. Always had a sketchbook in her hand. Art imitating life. She loved life, she loved art, she loved color, and we want to carry that forward. In Fairfield, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.